In today's health headlines, the CDC changes its RSV vaccine recommendations. Fruits and vegetables may have the power to reduce the risk for some serious diseases. And emergency medicine doctors warn of copycat injuries resulting from watching the Olympics. Joining us today is Chair of Emergency Medicine for Yale School of Medicine and Yale Medicine, Dr. Arjun Venkatesh. Thank you for being here again, doctor. Appreciate it. Hi, Darren. Thanks for having me. All right, let's start with this RSV change. What has changed with RSV vaccines for older adults and why? So RSV, or it's another respiratory virus, had its first vaccine come out a couple years ago, and there's now three vaccines out. The CDC has been recommending that any adult over the age of 65 or 60 get vaccinated with these for the past couple years because almost 100,000 people can get hospitalized with RSV, particularly older adults and young babies. There are some side effects with these vaccines, and so the new CDC guidance is now recommending that everybody over 75 be vaccinated or those above 60 who have a high risk condition. This could be heart disease, lung problems, maybe they live in a nursing home. If you're high risk, get vaccinated younger. Otherwise, those above 75 should get vaccinated. Okay, there's also some new research out there about eating more fruits and vegetables every day. I'm understanding this is another good reason to do that, right? Yeah, it seems obvious to say it. This was a really good study that was done that showed it. Uh, they randomized three groups of patients. A third of the patients were encouraged to eat an extra four cups of fruits and vegetables every week. The second group was asked to take baking soda each week, and the third group kind of continued their diet. And what they found is if you reduced meat or other foods that were high in acids and you had more baking soda, or especially if you had more plant-based food, you were less likely to have elevated blood pressures, you were less likely to have heart attacks, and less likely to develop kidney disease. And so I know your parents have been telling you to eat more fruits and vegetables for years. It's still true. Mom was right. We knew it. Yes. That's right. We knew it. <laughs> now, I thought this was interesting. With the Olympics underway now, doctors like you folks have been seeing an increase in copycat injuries. What does that mean? Everybody enjoys watching Simone Biles on the balance beam, but that doesn't mean you should try it at home. It's fun to watch the Olympics, and you see amazing things in gymnastics, skateboarding, breakdancing. Many of these sports are things that people try to mimic at home. None of us, though, have been training like that when it comes to our strength, our flexibility, um, and or even doing it in a place where it's safe to do it. And so be careful. It's fun to watch the Olympics, but it's better to watch than to try to mimic. I promise, doctor, no flips off the balance beam for me. Yes. You got a deal. Dr. Arjun Venkatesh from Yale, appreciate your time. Have a great rest of your week. Thank you.